While rivals spin out new stores by the dozen, Bottega Veneta travels at a much slower pace, barely opening one store every few years. But now the Italian brand is opening a new store on Rodeo Drive. A little late to the L.A. party, or perhaps just fashionably late. Here with more insight is WSJ fashion columnist Christina Binkley. Hi, Christina. Thanks for being with us. Hi, Tanya. So, Christina, first off, tell us about the opening in L.A. Was it a big star-studded event? Well, it hasn't, it hasn't happened yet. It comes on Thursday, and it is going to be a star-studded event. They've had people um, from Bottega hold up at the Chateau Marmont Hotel for about a week now, working with celebrities and dressing them for it. Is this unusual for this brand that seems to prefer sort of a quiet or slower pace? Yeah, it really doesn't do big shindigs very often, and they're they're making the most of it. Thomas Meyer, the designer, skipped the Met Ball um, this week this this week in order to to focus on the store opening. But it's an important one for them, um, and Los Angeles is an increasingly important market for fashion. Yes, you're right about that. Well, tell us about the concept behind the store. Is it important that they have some way of standing out? Yeah. As a matter of fact, they're calling it a maison, which I found kind of funny. It's an Italian brand and they've chosen a French word to <laughs> to call this. But what they're they are they're making this a very special place. They don't want to go with the term flagship. It's going to be one of three maisons in their group, one in Milan, this one, and then those one in, in next year will open in New York City. And the concept is that rather than being a generic looking store where it looks exactly the same from Beijing to Berlin, this is going to be it's it, it actually designed to pick up on on local architecture, the Mediterranean revival style. Um, it's going to carry all the products, but it's going to look and feel very different. The idea is that people will come and feel like it has a sense of place. And what are those products? What is Bottega best known for? I have to say I'm most familiar with the bags, but beyond that, I don't know that much about the brand. Well, you know what, Tanya, that's actually natural. They are famous for their, their woven brand, that uh, Intrecchiato, it's, it's, it's called, which is a, a, a woven strips of leather bag. They make a lot of other bags, but close to 90% of their revenues come from bags. Yeah. Um, I was actually a little surprised to find out. Thomas Meyer, the designer, is, is, makes beautiful clothes. I love his collections every year. I'm seeing them in Milan. Um, he doesn't follow trends. He uses extraordinary fabrics. He has a beautiful sense of design. But it's ready to wear is only 4% of their sales. That's a waste. We need more clothes from them. So maybe now in this new L.A. store, why, Christina, open an L.A. store now? What do you think of the timing? Well, it's a little late. I think uh, two years ago, I was going to store opening after store opening party on, on Rodeo Drive. And there was a rush of, 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 of uh, brands building new stores, renovating their stores, putting in these amazing, I mean, they're like apartments, but they're VIP dressing salons and, and uh, terraces for holding parties. So um, I thought that that had sort of ended. Bottega is a little bit later. They're actually moving from down the street. So they've had a store on Rodeo up at the northern end, which is a little sleepier, and they're moving down to the to the, the gadding crowd. To the whole mix of it all. Now, what issues are the luxury businesses in general facing right now, Christina? Ouch. If you're not Gucci or Saint Laurent, you're probably uh, disappointing your investors. Yeah. Um, that, that might be a broad statement, but it's, it's a tough time in the industry for a couple of reasons. Sales are down in Europe. People are blaming tourism and, and because, you know, tourism dropping because of the terrorist attacks. Um, so Europe is not a, a great place for these, these companies right now. And Asia, where they were growing like mad in recent years, has really cut back. So a lot of these brands put in huge um, networks of stores in Asia and are now finding the sales dropping off. And now they have to concentrate on the U.S. Well, Christina, tell us how you like the new store and maybe they will sell more of those beautiful clothes. <laughs> yeah, let's hope they do. You know, the store is, is, is um, I'm, it's, I'm kind of excited about it. I was, was talking with Thomas Meyer about how he designed it. He actually drove around Southern California in sort of the hot buds, hot, hot beds of uh, Mediterranean revival um, architecture in Santa Barbara and Pasadena and Montecito. Anyway, he used the real estate listings and toured houses that were on sale. <laughs> I like that. I like the way he thinks. Oh, my gosh. Christina Bigley, thank you so much for that. It's my pleasure.